So Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is a game that I have dabbled in and out of for the past few years that it's been out with its transition from PS4 to PS5. And with my love for Dragon Ball, the first time it came out, I will admit I have not had a good relationship with it. I would play it and get off in like an hour because I was just so bored of the content. Little did I know or little did I understand at the time that this game was aiming to do something that no other Dragon Ball game has ever done. And so with this, I'm also giving my review, but also kind of pulling back a bit. And this game is actually better than we give it credit for. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what the big hoopla was about the game for real, other than that these cutscenes and, you know, dead moments of the game were kind of dragging a bit but other than that this game is very impactful for the dragon ball community and i'm gonna tell you guys why so the first part i want to get into is simply we're just gonna go in and get into the meat of it is the story the story in my opinion is probably the most roller coaster of a ride that you will ever get in a dragon ball themed game it it's, has its combination of hype and just robust moments, and then it has its really, 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 really dead and boring moments. I, I I can't tell you how many times I just sat through each some of these cutscenes, and I'm just like, what? I don't I don't care. Like I I I understand that this is a retelling of the story, but even in the game, it seems to drag them out more so than the show did which I get it, this is not just the anime, this is dealing with manga content as well, which was actually a pretty interesting aspect of the game that I didn't really understand at first. And again, with all that being said, the story, again, it's just a big roller coaster of rise, but what I will reiterate is that the first half of the story is actually pretty, pretty entertaining. You start off with, you know, the old Raditz versus Piccolo, uh, the Saiyan saga, and then going to the Namekian saga, which is actually, really really fun like the Namekian saga is actually one of the most fun sagas to play through in a Dragon Ball game and I'm not gonna um you know sit here and hype it up too too much but yeah the, the Saiyan battle was it was, it was, it was great it was, it was all right I, I'm not gonna sit here and do too you know too much it wasn't perfect but the the sup, legendary Super Saiyan transformation and all that they, they kind of did their thing. I, I like the Nemec Saga a lot. and um, Or the Legendary Super Saiyan Saga. Whatever Saga you refer to it as. But with that being said, I really wanted to highlight that it does take a massive dip in the Cell Saga. I'm going to sit here and say that with everything that happened, even with the uh, Teen Gohan and all that stuff, it was kind of like you just wanted to get to the Cell, the perfect Cell. Like, the parts before it was cool, it was cool to experience all of that, but like, he's Louise. I feel like that was that had some of the most talking in it. it, it I, I just, the cutscenes were just, it just drug. It drug a lot. <laughs> I'm not, like, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, sit here and praise it too much, but it, it drug a lot. Overall, though, when it got down to it, the action and the battling really, really saved a lot of these moments. I will say this, once you got through the cutscenes, then a lot of these you know, playthroughs, the battling was pretty, pretty dope. I actually like the combat. The combat is actually pretty simple. It's pretty simple combat. It's like dealing with boss battles. Again, I just really feel like they aimed for a, a RPG type style action game uh, with this. And it, it kind of, it meshed well at some, some points, some points it didn't. But again, this is Dragon Ball. It's such a vast world. And the idea of flying around through the city of West City, going to Capsule Corporation, going into these buildings, going to these maps on the area, collecting the Dragon Balls the right way, actually going to maps and finding them, you know, wishing for Shenron, going up to the lookout, flying. Like, those types of aspects is what I, uh, I would say is what I underappreciated those little moments of going in and flying into cities and you know meeting with Bulma having Bulma you know make you up you know whatever you need for your items or having Chi Chi cook for you like all that stuff I kind of took for granted it was kind of cool to kind of experience that and I even had Dragon Ball you know Z and Z Kai playing um I yes I am I'm a fan of Z Kai by the way don't 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 get your knickers in the twist it's 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 goaded that theme song is 
goading. But that's besides the point. I was having those shows running as I was playing this game because I was, sometimes I was like, okay, I'd rather watch the show do all the talking than sit here and watch you guys do all the talking. Some of the animated cutscenes now, I'm the cutscenes I'm speaking on to be specific. I'm speaking on more so the ones where you have to kind of like fast forward through. The ones that are like cinematic, the animated ones, those those are those are dope. I will say they a couple moments I would say I would like uh you guys did that wrong. First of all, they took out Trunks' buff. Uh you know, I, I didn't like that. That that's crazy. I actually didn't remember that. That's how much I had dabbled in this and probably skipped through it. But I was just like this time I actually played through and sat through everything, so it was dreading at some parts but other parts it was not it did not feel like a 15 hour game it felt like a 30 hour game and i heard this was supposed to be 15 hours plus you know minimum but it felt like a 30 to 40 hour game and i it wasn't and it i went through every saga you know i'm like okay i'm experiencing these things but sometimes i wasn't experiencing them the right way and what i mean by that is some of the cutscenes and some of the stuff that you even did when it came to like the boo saga and all that stuff you didn't really did get to experience everything you know it was more so cutscene after cutscene showcasing everything rather than us pl doing everything you know and i get it at some points we did kind of do everything like we actually get to walk you know run around and gather meats and all that stuff that stuff right there is what i would say was a little bit more tedious when it came to the exploration part of Kakarot, because I just couldn't get down with catching all this fish and all this, I didn't, ca I don't care. Like that's that stuff was never really showcased that much in the show. It may be in Dragon Ball, but I get it. This is the manga and stuff, and it had that new DLC coming out, which I'm actually gonna be doing the DLCs in order as they come out. Well, not in order because they be tax, they, they be taxing for them them things, man. I, I, I cannot believe that this game is literally taxing for a. 20 plus year old arc that came out when half of these dudes who are like 30 were like 10 and 12 when they were watching freaking Pick King Piccolo fight like you why that should have been base game that should have been the Kakarot DLC 5 should have been base game in my just my opinion like I don't get why they put in like year old stuff as new con content but you know it's it's whatever so I am think I'm gonna play through one of the you know the I think the Whis arc, the, the I don't know what the battle, the, the Saiyan God's arc, that one. I think I'm gonna play through that one, and then uh, give my review. But so it's time to actually get down to the actual review. I've been you know expressing my feelings on it. This is kind of fresh off the gameplay, and overall, yes, we took this game for granted. Yes, this game has a lot of flaws, but at the same time, this game it was it was a good game. It was a good game. I, I can't sit here and say all of what I said and not mention that there were a lot of good parts too. There was a lot of bad ones. A lot of bad ones. But there were also a lot of good ones. It's a balanced game. It's not great, but it's not bad either. And I don't think that we should have gave it such a hard time when it first came out. Now, when it first came out, it came up on PS4 and Xbox. Uh, yeah, I will agree. And when it comes to like the graphics and stuff and how it moved, it was a little bit more clunky and stuff. So I think that the PS5 and the upgrade really helped boost this uh, intrigue in my opinion. I, again, I, I finished the game and I kind of did feel a sense of, okay, cool. Uh, I like that. The, the, the ending, the boo saga was a little drug out, but once you get to the ending, the last fight and everything was pretty, pretty dope. So uh, I just wanted to give my official like this is my final review on it i think i when i first reviewed it before i even made a channel i i was like nah, this game's like a five out of ten i was like dogging it but this game is easily solid seven out of ten again not great not bad either but you know it's right in there and it was fun it was it was fun i had fun i had fun playing through it the times i did play the action the fighting getting to experience certain fights there were certain fights in there you couldn't actually experience you know the fight with the bora and the fight with the gohan and um all the you know enemies that they fought when they were fighting uh, majin buu uh experiencing vegeta and goku again that fight was pretty lit experiencing the cell saga experiencing everything and namek saiyan saga all that stuff experiencing the story like how you would play it in the anime or manga and kind of taking that and be like okay like i'm actually playing like I, I can you know the cars and stuff and riding around the city 
you know exploring a bit those were actually pretty cool it was kind of cool to kind of act it out and i i'm not gonna lie i was playing through one of the episodes trying to match this trying to match the scene i uh, i think it was the episode of the i think this one of the cell suck episodes i was trying to match and see if i can kind of play through like all the dialogue and all this stuff it was it was kind of i was kind of messing around with it but you know it again it, it brought the kid out of me that's the point i was trying to make it kind of brought my inner child out. i was like okay I like this. I like what this is doing. So, solid 7 out of 10 game. Now, I think I was wrong about it. Definitely, again, all this, all the stuff that I had a problem with still stands. It's just that I, I appreciate more of the other stuff now. And I, it kind of balances itself out. So, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. And let me know how you feel about Dragon Ball Z Kakarot in 2023. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. And we can on some more Dragon Ball Z content. Peace.